Yeah, Mel, that is the good news in this situation. Really ended the best way possible. The suspect wasn't hurt and that deputy was not hurt either. And it all happened here across FM 529 where we are right now and one of these warehouses back here. The SWAT team just pulled away their big equipment not that long ago, but you can still see some deputies are down there. They're explaining that they have to actually wait for the tear gas to get out of the building so they can continue on with their investigation. And they were explaining part of what made the situation even more challenging for them is that the suspect went up towards the ceiling of the big warehouse building. It was really tough to see him and clearly he was a threat as he's accused of shooting at a deputy. We tried numerous times to talk with him through our microphones, through our drone, also through our robots. Uh, and just several minutes ago, we made entry into a second level after we had gassed repeatedly into the business. It was around 1:10 this morning when the Harris County Sheriff's Office says they got a call from the owner of an auto performance business on FM 529 saying someone had broken into their building. Neither the deputy or the suspect were shot. The Sheriff's Office explains the building has a false ceiling and says the suspect, a man in his 20s, was able to get up onto the beams high in the building, making it very difficult to see where he was and what he was doing. As they were trying to get him out, the SWAT team ended up tearing holes through the wall of the building. Eventually, around 920, more than eight hours after this started, the suspect was taken into custody. He's facing charges of burglary of a building and aggravated assault of a police officer. Deputies approached the back door. The suspect fired several shots at our deputies and then exited back into the building. One of our deputies did return fire at the suspect. Now, it is interesting. The sheriff's office says this same auto performance business where this all happened was actually broken into a couple of days ago. They're still working to figure out if these burglaries are connected. And as for the suspect, I mentioned uh, neither the suspect or the deputy got shot. The suspect is getting checked out by EMS as he was exposed to that tear gas for several hours this morning. But after he's checked out, he will be booked into the Harris County Jail. Reporting live here in Northwest Harris County, Courtney Carpenter, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. All right.